Sorry guys, I started working on the tanks and forgot to turn the camera on. So here's what I've done so far. <coughs> and I took the blue stuff off because that's a nightmare and no fun. Um, and then on these, the instructions say to drill a three quarter inch hole and then position the VA-141, I believe these are. Yep, VA-141s over that hole so that the edge doesn't go over the flange here. Um, so that's all I've really done so far is I've drilled the three quarter inch hole and then positioned that there and then drilled the number 30 holes around it. And now you are caught up. So sorry for forgetting to press the play button or the record button. All right, here you go. Howdy everybody. This is the first tank video. Even though the tanks are kind of part of the wings, I figured they would have their own kind of, what is it, playlist or whatever for uh, the tanks. So this is section 18 in the construction drawings. The tanks are with all of their instructions. And this is video number one of the tanks. And I have to be honest with you, they kind of scare me. Um, and I think they scare me because a mistake, like most of the times, if you make a mistake, you notice it and you just, you can, you replace the part. Well, you're putting that tank sealant on it and I'm sorry, but you know, if you make a mistake and that tank sealant cures, you're, you're screwed. You start over. And so I am slightly worried about the tanks. And as you can see here, my dad and I are prepping the, the stuff and I, I cut out like 10 minutes worth of us, you know, basically, you know, deburring parts and deburring holes and stuff. So you didn't have to see that because it was a lot of us doing that. So I tried to cut a lot of it out. So you see we're down I, I think our pile it got pretty pretty slim there and so now i am making a mistake right here i will point it out um if you watch the video and i'll try to put the a link to the video that vans put out for doing the tanks um up on there i've never done that on youtube but i'll see if i can add that up there um but you probably should scuff those edges that are going to get tank sealant on it before you dimple them so that is a mistake that I made and it took me and I didn't get it on camera because man, would that be unbelievably boring um, watching me scuff the insides of those dimpled pieces. It was, it was two hours of my life. I'll never get back. So don't make that mistake. Um, scuff the edges of the ribs before you dimple them. Um, then you don't have to go back and dimple inside or um, scuff inside the dimples themselves. Um, but the Vans folks um, in their video did say to um, make sure you scuff those outside edges of basically scuff every mating edge that there is on the tanks. So my hope is that um, if you're watching these to kind of get some helpful tips, I hope that my mistakes actually help you uh, not make those same mistakes when you're building your own tanks. So basically I will, I'll show all of the stuff, but I do cut out a lot of like the extra stuff, like of doing repetitive stuff. So you won't see those things, but while I have you here and we are a few minutes in, let me share a joke with you. So um how do you cook an alligator with a crock pot <laughs> oh my goodness so how do you get a squirrel's attention act like a nut <laughs> my daughter liked that one so that was good Oh, my goodness. Those are just crazy jokes. Um, and you see here, 
that you, we, you don't really see us deburring the pieces, but basically what we're doing is we're cutting apart those long pieces into much smaller pieces and they will become the um, brackets, the, the support pieces inside the tank. And then here, Brad and I are doing the Z brackets. And the Z brackets fit on top, well, on top, they fit on the back side of the fuel tank. And it's what you, you attach them to the spar. And so on the spar itself, there's, uh, there's like five sets of three holes in the spar. And you might wonder, oh, what in the world are those holes for? Well, a screw goes through those holes and it actually screws, you actually like kind of bolt the tank onto the spar itself using the Z brackets. Um, and so here we are, we're putting nut plates on the Z brackets and I'll show you a picture here real quick of the Z brackets themselves. And there's, so there's nut plates um, on the one side and that's where the screw will go in and then they actually get riveted to the tank itself. And that's how you kind of attach the tank. And then there's obviously the screws and the skin. Um, those also attach the tank to the plane. But for the most part, those Z brackets are the, the things that attach it to the main spar, the big metal piece. So that's kind of good. Oh, there was my son. Um, he's back from Brazil. He spent two years in Brazil on a mission for a church. Um, but he is back and uh, having fun. And then Brad and I are just finishing up with those Z brackets. I believe there's 15 of them or 16 of them, 16 and two of them are no, what is it? 14 of them, but two of them don't get, um, uh, nut plates attached. So I think there's only six that have nut plates attached to them. And then here's Brad and I again, uh, working on the skins for the tanks. And there's just a lot of prep work that happens to the skins. Um, and in the next tank video, you'll actually see me start to put stuff together. But here it's basically all prep work. Um, and you'll see some more prep work because you have to scuff the insides of the tanks where the, the brackets are going to be attached and all of that stuff. And then you have to dimple them and a whole, whole bunch more work. But um, basically what we're doing here is... Um, getting this the blue stuff off, which is a pain. I hate the blue stuff. Uh, it drives me nuts. Um, but then we're um, deburring all of the holes. So we're getting ready to dimple them. That, I think, is in the next video. And then we also, you have to countersink the, that top row of rivets that um, will attach the baffle, the rear baffle. Um, that gets countersunk, it is not dimpled. Um, and so we're basically working on all of those holes, making sure they're deburred, making sure they're the way they're supposed to be. Um, I did try out a new deburr tool. Um, I had gotten, from, I believe, from Cleveland Aircraft Tool. I'm not sure where I got it from. Um, but it goes in your drill gun, and my drill gun was just a little bit too fast for me. I think it was too fast but i might get one of those smaller like little pencil drill guns like the little screwdriver drill guns um, and put it in there and see if it works a little bit better so we'll see what happens there and then that is pretty much it for this video it's kind of a shorter video because all we're doing is really prep work um, there is a lot of prep work but um you know I guess you, you do what you got to do. You got to get them prepared. You got to get them all scuffed up. You got to get them ready to have the tank sealant in there. And like I said, when I started, I it scares the daylights out of me. So hopefully I won't make too many mistakes as we go. And if I do, I'll make sure to point them out to you guys um, so that you can avoid making those mistakes. Oh, and in the next video, or no, in two or three videos, you will see new tools that I bought. So that will be awesome. See you guys. Have fun. Bye.